Hell yes. I don't really like attacking other people's work. And it's just, I just, you know, well, I, won't I try not to attack them personally, but I will criticize their work. The, if you're interested in paganism, megaliths, ancient sites, mythology, the biggest cancer within it is this thing called British Israelism. Now, British Israelism is and um, was a movement that still exists and where basically Freemasons, Presbyterian ministers in the late 1800s and early 1900s got it into their heads that the Bible took place or biblical elements took place in Britain and Ireland and they were obsessed because they, the, because of the King James Bible and it's obsessed with, obsessed with being more Jewish than the Jews and if that's that's all pro, that's all that's all Lutherism and Presbyterianism is, is. it was to depaganize Christianity from Catholicism Catholicism only survived because it incorporated paganism, mostly classical paganism, but other aspects were brought in too. Uh, regionally, regionally as well. That's why Breed is St. Bridget. The, the Celtic goddess Breed is St. Bridget. And that went on all over. Now, the British Israelites were so desperate to be Jewish that they started to believe that the tribes of Israel, this, these fictional tribes of Israel, were Europeans. And they had come to all over Europe and they had the most amazing bullshit that's easily discounted. Now within the alternative movement, the two biggest culprits are Ralph Ellis and Tessarian. Tessarian cannot even pronounce to a Deidanon because he's culturally British. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. He was raised in East Belfast of that British Ulster thing. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's his background. But he's not an expert on this stuff. And the stuff he pushes, is, is all, a, a lot of it to, about his Irish mythology, is absolutely British Israelism. Saying that Nuwada is Noah. Jesus Christ, I thought we were over this stuff decades ago. That the... Uh, there's loads of things like that I've heard him say over the years. The air, the aria is the air. Era comes from the Aryans. The aria, era comes from the the the, the goddess Eru, which is the original one of the, the tripartite goddesses of Ireland. Now again, I'm criticizing his work, not him personally, although he has criticized me personally pl plenty of times. I don't go on there. Uh, he's wrong. Ralph Ellis pushes the whole Jesus and Joseph of Arimathea thing in England. And that's all totally, completely, 100% British Israelism. A Presbyterian fetish to make the people on these islands Jewish. That's all it is. There's no wrong with being Jewish. I'm just saying we're not Jewish. Now, British Israelism is, was an appalling thing. They did untold damage to the to the hill of Tara in County Mead in 1904, digging it up, looking for, wait for it, the Ark of the Covenant. What a monumental insult to our Celtic and pre-Celtic ancestors that we need a fictional characters from the Hebrew Bible to come here and give us culture. And that's ultimately what the British Israelite is about. And that the Celtic people, the Germanic people, the Nordic people were all mindless animals until, you know, characters from the Middle East, Semites, came here and made us amazing. Now, I saw a video the other day that's getting unbelievable rotation to the point where I'm now suspicious, called The Last Druid. To call this monumental bollocks, would be like even Tessarian and Ralph Ellis have done good work on other subjects that they did get right. Monumental bollocks wouldn't even cover it. For starters, let's talk about who is he's claiming exclusivity that cannot be claimed as exclusivity. There was no such thing as the last druids. There would have been many last druids over a period of about a thousand years. 
After Christianity took over in Ireland, the Druids continued as a group called the Phila, or Bards, in every manner that the Druids existed in, except they could not preach the pagan religion. But otherwise, they were Druids, and they existed until the early 1600s, when, at the flight of the Earls, the old Gaelic kingdoms, defeated by the English, and Ireland fell under English law, went to France and Spain and Italy and so on. That's when they van that's when they vanished from Irish culture. There's probably more people watching this video all around the world of Celtic ancestry who have more right to claim, as or as much right to claim, I should say, of being the last druid as that guy in the video. First of all, that's the first part. Secondly, and this is important, his timelines are insane. The megaliths and the things like the dolmens, saying that the dolmens were bomb shelters from meteorites built by the druids. The, the megaliths were built thousands and thousands of years before the druids and the Celts existed. Now, as you read my book, The Druid Code, there is a pro there almost certainly was a proto-shamanic druidry or druidism that the druids of later Celtic world tapped into, and they may well have, although there's not a lot of evidence that they have may have well have used places like Avebury and Stonehenge for their rituals. We just don't know. Again, this comes from Victorian Presbyterians. There's, you know, this is why they gave them names like Devil's Altar and Devil's Circle and all this stuff, or the, 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 the Bloodstone or the Slaughter Stone, the Sacrifice Altar. This is all Presbyterian uh, rabbi Second Temple rabbinical Judaism being passed off as, as, as a new form of Christianity. That a hatred of anything pre-Christian, and uh, Druids are are else romanticized by the wealthy who wanted to believe this, like this guy that they're somehow the descendants of these. But wait, this is the next part. They always bring it into Christianity, and so this lunatic then claims, and this is what set off the red flags, that the Druids prepared us for the coming of Christ, and so he scoops in the the Abrahamics. Folks, you've got to be very careful. Question me. Question everybody, okay? Just because there's a video with a romantic title of The Last Druid, and this guy gives a very, uh, should I say, uh, listenable lobby, and that's what it is. It's a lobbying for his imaginary title as The Last Druid. Does not believe that that motherfucker is telling the truth. And always remember that he's claiming exclusivity like he's a king or he's a divine leader or he's a, a cult leader. I, I, don't, I am not aware of one human being on this earth today that could call the, that is a druid. Not a single one. And if they do exist, they don't dress like those Anglican ministers you see at Stonehenge on the solstice. They don't wear fucking tiaras and they don't go around self-consciously a uh, cosplaying druid. They would be dressed as normal clothes. They'd be dressed like this. They'd be in suits and business. We don't know who they are. They probably don't exist. More likely, Judaism, sorry, druidism, druidry, ended up in Freemasonry, in European Freemasonry. There's a very good case made by Thomas Paine on this in his history of Freemasonry. But they weren't, they're, not, they're no longer druids. So, don't be sending a video, first of all, as soon as anyone in this alternative or mainstream tries to connect your Celtic mythology to biblical, or your 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 Anglo-Saxon mythology to biblical stories and characters, like calling the 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 Tuatha Dé Danann, no, it's the Tuatha Dé Danann, uh, the tribe of Daniel from the Bible, run, just run, because they don't know. They're either they're either Freemasons were an agenda, or they don't know what they're talking about, and what's that's even worse. And secondly, don't believe that this guy is the last druid. Many of you watching this have as much right to call yourself that as him. Anyone claiming exclusivity on anything like that, the last druid, the descendant of Jesus, the, the, last, ki you know, the last descendant of King Arthur, run a fucking mile. Take care. He's not the last druid. He's not even a plausible druid.